What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We got some. We all oh, okay, we're doing the same time again. Huh? We got some breaking news right now. Literally breaking news as we're yeah. recording this. We recorded a video earlier, but this one just had to come out. Today, man, because this is breaking news, and this gives me hope. Me back, so, if you guys don't know, lately a lot of people have been asking the question, what's going to happen with Haunt because of COVID-19? Well, great, great news that we just received today. I'm a we got two great uh, giant news for uh, both okay. Scary Farm so and night one, so hopefully the future so today, will. at Not Scary Farm, a picture was taken, which I will put up on the screen right now. This is the location of uh, Shadowlands. Now, the rig that they're putting up, I guess they're going to be reusing the rig, which was part of the big finale room in Shadowlands. They're going to be reusing this rig for a new... Um, Maze, uh, which I thought they were going to take it down and stuff because I remember Fractured Compass actually did a construction video earlier in the year and they showed um, this construction happening. So I guess they're they just moved the rig and, and now they're using it again for uh, whatever. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's great news for uh, one of our. Friends. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, no, definitely. I think it's a good idea. I think because it looks like, you know, obviously on Friday, parts of the phase to reopen California has begun. Yeah. Um, and so I think as a part of that, um, now we're starting to see some of the work that may have been going on because construction didn't stop. I, I know for sure at Universal because um, they were still working on their projects. Um, and I know John Murdy has already confirmed like they're doing their best to make sure and plan to keep going ahead. Um, so that was really cool to be able to see Knotts is doing the same thing. But, you know, as you drive by, you see the rig is back up. I know that the video we had watched maybe, what was that, in March um, yeah. from Fractured Compass, you know, they had saw on the train that, you know, they were already rebuilding, because they know they had taken it down, yeah. Shadowlands, and then the rebuilding had begun on yeah, yeah. what's going to be a new maze there, which is super exciting. Uh, and I, I think it is, you know, some good news, as you said, that you know, there's still hope for uh, a haunt season coming up, whether that be a, a shorter haunt season, which I'm, which is thing is what I'm going to anticipate, is yeah. that we're going to have just October. Um, and uh, we're not going to get September into October, just because I know some of the construction was slowed down. Um, and I would much rather prefer a shorter haunt season. Than no haunt season at all. Yeah. Than no haunt season at all. Um, and Which I think is really exciting as we talk about knots, because um, that's that's gonna be really cool because I didn't I didn't know what they were doing um, and then obviously with the news that came out earlier this week with Cedar Fair yeah. and Notch's announcement this week of kind of like indefinitely still um, it, it's good I think depending on how not to be diving into too much of theme parks but depending on how Shanghai does yeah it's really gonna set the precedent on how the rest of the world is gonna open up. Definitely, and we um, we know with, of course, Shanghai, Disneyland, tickets already sold out for the return date of Disneyland, so that's kind of good news uh, leading towards the, the opening of theme parks. I know Florida is also working on steps into opening their theme parks as well, so I, can't message you anymore, I am very much looking forward to seeing where we go in California, even though I know in California it's a little bit different as far as what COVID is compared to the rest of the states, but... I, I, I do believe uh, if we if we stick together and keep doing what we're doing, we're going to be opening up pretty soon. I know the governor, he really wants to get life back on track, and they're really working on that with opening small businesses. Um, what was good news about Knott's this week, too, is they opened up the chicken dinner restaurant for takeout and the marketplace yeah. as well. So uh, it's cool to see that they're taking steps into opening up their, um, their property again. Uh, at least, it, even if it's something minor, like the you know the marketplace and and of course the chicken dinner oh, restaurant. Yeah. But it, it is good news to see that. Um, going over to the Hollywood side now, that uh, we do start construction today as well uh, at the Waterworld queue, uh, which you guys know was housed to House of a Thousand Corpses last year. Um, I want to put the picture on the screen right there, but right there, it looks like they've already started construction on a maze there. Usually, that's where a maze has been there for like the last like four or five years. You. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited. I don't know what's going to be there yet. Mm -hmm. um, taking from the speculated lineup, I would probably oh, say. Back, maybe, oh, I knew uh, it. Um, I knew it. I, I don't know. Maybe all, all the 
Horn, maybe. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But uh, what are your thoughts on at least Horn Nights? You know, I mean, because that's another one that we like to go to. Definitely, I think that's going to be. It's it's exciting too that they're working. I think we've all known that they were working um, because they made it very clear, like the magic hasn't stopped there. Yeah. Um, um, and so it's it's good that we're. I think it gives a lot of hope, especially to the horror community. You know, a lot of us were bummed out with Midsummer Spring being canceled, Monster Palooza being canceled, um, and it just seems like these cancellations keep getting later and later into the year. Um, and so it kind of gives us hope that we may have something going on for Halloween. Um, obviously, I don't think it's going to look like what we got to experience in 2019. Um, and so I think everyone has to take that with the grain of salt, you know, not to be the bummer on the video, but... Um, I think all of us are just going to be happy to get whatever we can, even if that means that we don't get all nine mazes at four nights. Yeah. We end up getting maybe six or seven. I think that'll be exciting. But I have hope that we are going to get nine. Definitely. And because, um, like I said, they haven't stopped. I know Disneyland, Knott's is back up, obviously, that we just talked about. Disneyland's back up in terms of construction. So um, they, you know, obviously these people are planning ahead and haven't lost hope um, on, you know, something along the lines of September and October. Definitely. And like you said, I'd much rather have a shorter and little haunt season and haunt rather than no haunt at all. I mean, if it means they have to cut back on some mazes, but I still get a haunt, I mean, I'd rather have that than nothing, honestly. Yeah. If you guys don't know, that's like literally our busiest time of the channel. And we do like going to these events. These are kind of like or something we like to do. And we like filming them for you guys, and we like meeting fans out there. So it, it is Nobody. truly a bummer, <laughs> a, a, a halt on haunt I, season. Here, but I, I wasted all my but, last time with the new news that came in today, <laughs> we are very hopeful that there is going to be a haunt season now, and we're we're trying to. That's why we want to share this with you guys. That's why we wanted you guys to see this as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the news that was uh, passed down to us today, and we are just hoping and. Praying that we're gonna get a haunt season, and we are very excited just from seeing these two pictures. Um, that's... I have a question before we go, before we so. cut up. Um, do you think that they're gonna eliminate a lot of these passes, like a season pass at knots or like frequent fear passes, so that they can um, get more people into the park um, and I not have to cater will. to a, a season pass? I think they will only just for the for the sole purpose of social distancing. I don't know where this will be in October. Honestly, yeah, we're we are only in May right now, so that's that's like about five months away. So I I have no idea where this will be by the time October comes. Um, but uh, I I do think there will be very limited ticket options now. I think there will either be just a general admission or just a front of the line kind of pass. Maybe those will probably be the only two. Um, I hope they don't get rid of the pass. However, if they did, I would understand why they do it. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Only time Definitely will tell. only time will tell. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, any new construction news comes up with these haunts, we will keep you guys informed and locked down here at the Knights of Horror. So, Everyone thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and checking out this new construction. And we, uh, we will see you guys soon. Peace.